I bought a genuine carbon fiber spoiler from eBay. 220 odd pound for this. Need to take a while to come. Carbon fiber expert. Run into my first issue. This idiot isn't great. Overheating problem. Carried away with this build. Tripped my engine. There it is. Hello world. Welcome back to Accelerate and welcome back to my Mazda MX-5s, plural. If you've just tuned in for the eBay carbon fiber spoiler section, you can click to this part of the video here. But I do want to give a quick update on the MX-5s because I do get a lot of questions, rightly so, because I can't even keep up sometimes. And we've done something a bit crazy to the turbo one that I think is going to divide opinions. Now, I want to start with the yellow one. Now, those of you who've seen the Landau Track Day video, you'll know that I let Tom have a go in the car. And we did have an overheating problem caused by, well, actually, we do have the culprits. Uh, so this completely was not Tom's fault. I do keep telling him. Potentially 20 odd year old rubber. And that almost cooked my engine. But hey ho. <laughs> Thanks to Ben's ingenuity and quick thinking, he dove straight into it, as did Tom, trying to figure out where the problem was coming from, because obviously at the time we didn't know what the issue was. So it turned out it was the coolant, the heater matrix pipes just there going onto the back of the engine. Like I said, very old rubber. Uh, the clamp was actually just starting to eat into the rubber, uh, pierced a hole, coolant everywhere, engine overheating. So even though I'm not keeping this car as such, um, I've replaced the two hoses because now she has not overheated. So I think, I think we saved her just in time. Landau was supposed to be the yellow one's last outing, but I thought with the heater hoses replaced, I just thought if it still runs, we might as well keep it. Uh, which brings me on to the first question I keep getting asked on this one. Well, on the boosted one, which we'll get to, is what color am I gonna paint it? Because this one has had a lot of weld and a lot of metal work, so it's gonna need paint. Now, what I'm going to do very quickly is every panel you see here, I'm going to take on there because I've gone through the trouble of wrapping it. Massive thanks to Jono and Jay Design Studio uh, for getting it done and Jay for painting it. So with all that work done, what I want to do is because we've got the over fenders, I'm going to swap the doors, everything over. All of that is going onto there. I've also had people asking me when I'm painting the front bumper. Fear not, this will be done when we paint a few other bits on the Turbo MX-5. We also have some more custom parts going on thanks to Jono. As you can see, this is why it looks a bit tatty because I'm really not, really not putting too much effort in because it's not going to be around forever. Now, I may have mentioned once or twice that I'm getting a bit carried away with this build. It's getting to a point where if I see something and we're touching it, I'm either replacing it or refurbishing it. I really can't be bothered taking all these out, so... Ah, there we are, that's better. Um, so these are the bit, well, this is more than I thought. Oh, ignore that, it's a personal thing. Um, right, like I said, I am going all out. Anything that we're removing or touching, I am replacing. I've even gone so far as getting steering gaiters um, for the inner tie rods. We've got wheel bearings, wheel hubs, and this is just the stuff that we can see that has turned up now that ours. There is more stuff coming. So very quickly, just to run through, we've got the boring things, tie rods, bearings, things like that. One of the things I am most excited for now, the yellow one is fully polybush, but it's sort of a cheaper kit. I think it's Duraflex. I will double check that. So I thought if we're doing this one, let's do it properly. I only want to be doing this once. So I went for the highly regarded energy suspension, full polybush kit. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is going to replace every single bush on my car. Every single bush is going to be polybushed. Uh, taking it one step further, because we are going boosted, I am petrified of temperatures and oil starvation. So we've got a baffled sump, but not only that, this is Boffy Racing's track spec baffled sump that we need to get welded into the sump, which is coming off anyway. I've gone genuine Mazda alignment bolts. These are an absolute pig. Some of them snap, so I just thought, you know what, if we're doing it, we're gonna do it properly, replace them all. Boffy Racing coming in clutch with the refreshers, as everyone loves. We've even got the Raptor coat in, uh, so once Stu has done all the welding, I am going to wrap that all underneath to protect it all, because like I said, I don't want to be doing this again. And I've even got carried away. Uh, do you know what? I, I genuinely, I'm starting to understand why people called cars money pits. And I genuinely started off thinking, oh, it's going to be expensive. Yeah, it's so easy to get carried away. If you are joining us for the first time, this is my Turbo Unos, which I promise we will get to in a minute. But if you haven't guessed, I am stripping absolutely everything off this car. We've got all the arm suspension. It's fully stripped to the point where I am either using a chemical bath to strip most of the gunk off. <coughs> Oof. 
blasting the arms down in our blaster and giving them a very nice spruce up. Now, once again, I am torn. I'm torn whether to paint the arms uh, so I can do it all myself and just powder coat the subframes or do I just bite the bullet and powder coat the whole thing? Oops. I bought a genuine carbon fiber spoiler from eBay. The equivalent APR performance spoiler I was looking at was around a thousand pounds. So this Chinese eBay carbon spoiler at 223 pound delivered didn't fill me with too much hope, especially when the box it arrived in looked like this. But at a quarter of the price, it was worth a punt, right? On initial inspection, the quality was better than I thought it would be. The carbon weave seemed very uniform and all fixings seemed sturdy. Keep in mind this cost me £223. Now yes, we've already unboxed this, but what I do want to do now is actually get it out properly and have a look to A, look at the quality properly and see how well it goes together. Now this did take a while to come. I know a lot of people got concerns about Autodoc going a bit off topic. Um, I've used them twice now for big orders and both times uh, for my Jag and for the MX-5 both times came within a week from start to finish. So highly recommend Autodoc, no affiliation at all. But this, coming from the grand wonderment of China, it did take, I think it was about a month to get here. But then again, what kind of an idiot buys genuine carbon fiber uh, on eBay? This idiot. But once again, I'm doing things like this so you guys don't have to. Well, so it takes the risk out of it. Hopefully it is good and hopefully we can use it because we've got some crazy ideas on this, but let's get it unboxed. First of all, I want to start off by saying I am by no means a carbon fiber expert, but upon initial inspection, um, the Body Shop Boys had a look as well and we all agreed we are very impressed with the carbon fiber weave in general. The pattern is so, so uniform. I mean, if you study it, I imagine you probably would find some imperfections, but you've got to remember, I paid, what, 220 odd pounds for this? Um, I wasn't even sure if it was going to be genuine carbon fiber, but again, we've all had a look and we think maybe just carbon skinned, granted, but so far, I am happy. Now, I will link the buyer that I bought this one from, but if you go on eBay and just type in carbon fiber spoiler, you get loads come up, all the same type. They are basically all the same, just coming from different sellers. And like I said, just be prepared to wait a while because they do take a while to come. As with most spoilers, it is a relatively straightforward design. So you've got your feet that you bolt to the car. Obviously your leg there, and we've already attached the little feet at the bottom there. So it does give you some adjustability as well. It comes with all the hardware you need. Let's get it built. Assembly of the feet is incredibly straightforward and with a very, very basic set of tools, you'll be well away. Now you've got your feet there, like I said, the brackets, everything you need. Now everything does feel, I mean, it's it's all pretty solid. And I just want to reiterate that the, net, the one I was looking at was the APR one. I think it was just over a thousand pound. Okay, so I've run into my first issue and I really hope I'm just being an idiot because it is late, I've had a long day, but I've got all the brackets set up. I've got my nuts and bolts all where I need them for each leg. Now, as I've gone to mount the first one, because this bit of metal is wider than the bit it's attaching to, it's as if you need a spacer or something in between the two. And I'm pretty sure I've set that up right. I've got the washers on the outside. Hmm. I ended up jamming one of the washers in the gap to allow me to bolt the leg to the blade. So yes, the first reflection of the spoiler's cheap price. I then cracked on with fitting the side blades. Right, so the spoiler's pretty much built up. I can't let it go because if it does want to fall back. Um, like I said, initial and thing, you think, oh great, yeah, the quality's great. Now this was to be expected, but the fit and finish isn't great. You have got to sort of over tighten things. And when you tighten one thing, it does knock the other thing out of alignment. Uh, so they do take a bit of persuasion, but nothing too serious. The worst I've come across at the moment, I've put the one screw in to hold the side blade on. That doesn't quite line up there, so that hole may need to be elongated. But, like I said, for the money, I suppose you can't really complain. And we're going to get to the point of why I've bought this now and why I'm not bothered about fit and finish. But if you came to the video just to see what an eBay carbon fiber spoiler is like, genuinely, I would say go for it. 
If any alterations are going to be needed, they're going to be very minor and any competent body shop will be able to fit these for you if you're not confident doing it yourself, but I would say definitely have a go. And if you come here to see what it looks like on an MX-5, you're about to find out. Voila, there it is. Now, <laughs> before you all grab your pitchforks and come at me with some rice I hate, uh, this is just for the people who've come to the video to see an eBay carbon spoiler. This is just to give you dimensions, ideas, sort of uh, stuff like that. I have never been a fan of the way these legs sit here. So going back to mine, if you did come just for the spoiler video, I really appreciate you watching. I uh, hope you stick around because we've got some crazy things coming with the MX-5s. Now, I am very fortunate. The Turbo Unos that we're building, I've got some amazing fabricators working with me. So we're not in the habit of fitting standard things. Stu is all about customizing, which we're going to get to now, but I want to show you now why I'm not too bothered about the fit and finish. And I want to show you what we're going to do. So I can now finally reveal to you why I've kept this to the last part of the video. Um, yeah, a lot's changed since the last scene. All right, so let's start with the stuff that I've been very busy with. You'll notice there's a lot missing here. So I, like I said, I've gone from everything from the track, uh, the inner tie rods, track rod ends, uh, anti-roll bars off, arms, everything, brake lines, everything I could, we are taking off and either refurbishing or replacing. Uh, I still need to sort of obviously clean this down, treat it all. I do want to get the subframe off to powder coat as well. Uh, I've also done it to the rear, so that is all empty. Again, need to get the rear subframe off and the diff, because we do have another diff going in. But this, this is what Stu has been working on. And as I said, once the metal work's done, this is where the fun starts. Now bear in mind, this is a time attack inspired car. I know this is going to divide opinions, but I'm so buzzing for this. <laughs> yes! I love diffusers. I love sort of time attack aero. So... For those that have no idea what they're looking at, that's fine. So your rear diffuser, this is all going to be functional as well. It's all to do with aerodynamics for grip. This is going to be a track car, road legal track car. I said to Stu I wanted it crazy. Luckily, we had the same sort of idea. I gave him a rough idea of want, what I wanted, and this is what he's come up with so far. <laughs> I just, I am absolutely in love. The next thing you may notice is, yes, they are these spoiler legs. Like I said, we don't like doing standard stuff. I don't like them. I don't really go and suit them with the car. I love chassis mount wings. So again, this is going to be functional because it bolts to the chassis of the car. But this is going to be a one-off. Uh, actually, let's get, the, uh, let's get the blade. Okay, I really should have put the other side blade on. But you'll get the idea. So this is the first mock-up. Now, I do actually want it a bit higher. So I want the spoiler to sit around here, I think. Maybe a little bit higher. All the chassis mounts that you can buy off the shelf, the MX-5s, they all sort of come up to about here, which even I think is a bit ridiculous. So the beauty of having Stu doing all the fabrication is I can choose where I want it. And I think we're gonna go, we, we gotta go big or go home. I don't think there's any better definition for this. This is where it's gonna get fun. And this is where Stu and I and Carl can get creative. So although this doesn't look like much uh, to me and to Stu, this is a massive step and something that we're both so excited for. Like I said, I know it's going to divide opinions, so by all means, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, we are going to do the rest of the car to match. We've already got some crazy ideas for the front and uh, the side as well to bring it all together so it's not going to look odd, but I just can't believe it. I mean, <laughs> it is going to look crazy. Um, I didn't see these for Fabio to Stu. You can tell he's a proper fabricator. I mean, the rest of the car, <laughs> it has literally been sat for months. So she is looking a bit sorry for herself, but this, this is the view of progress. <sighs> that should do it for the update on this one, guys, with both MX-5s. Trying to keep you updated as much as I can, but there's so much going on. But anyway, I will let you guys know what the, big, what the next big step is. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Boom.